Pluto, you won't believe it! How are you all here? Turns out the Earthlings changed their mind on their definition of what a planet is. Size doesn't matter anymore for planets. Oh boy. I is this really happening? A am I a planet again? Yup, I always knew they were wrong. You're a star to me. Star? Don't you mean planet? No, I don't. I deserve this. Good job, we were sick of him. We have a new star now. Well, star? But but you said I was a plant. Pluto, 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 Pluto. Oh, don't tell me this is a dream. Hey, watch it, Pipsqueak. You're looking like a real Pluto right now. Oh, good yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> He's such a Pluto. Oh, stop being such a Pluto, Mercury. Ugh, planets. Ugh, I wish I had a friend. Uh, hey, Neptune. Where have you been? Nobody has seen or heard from you in years. Uh, oh! What? <laughs> Hey, where did you come what? from? Uh, uh, I've been here this whole time. Where am I right now? The solar system? Ah, interesting, interesting. And who are you? I'm Pluto. We met over four billion years ago. But hey, are you okay? Oh, I don't know. I literally don't have a solid surface, so my memory isn't all that good. Hey, wanna be friends? Wait, really? But all the planets bully me because I'm not a planet. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. So you want me to bully you? What? No! Let's be friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can you stop that? Whoa! <laughs> Where did you come from? Forget this. I'm hanging out with the dwarf planets. Okay. I'm entering the Kuiper Belt. They should be around here somewhere. Oh, I hope she doesn't see me. Hey, you're back! Ugh. Hey, Sharon. I missed you so much, Pluto. We used to dance all the time and look at each other day and night. Hey, we weren't dancing. You were orbiting around me. Completely different things. And we weren't looking at each other. We were just tidally locked. Well, let's agree to disagree. You can't disagree with science. Scientists demoted you from being a planet. Do you agree with them? What? Point taken. What I mean is all the other planets have boring orbits. The small planet orbits around the big planet, blah, blah, blah. But us, we orbit around each other. We're like a double planet. No, 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 no. We are not a double planet. You are my moon. The thing is that you're a, a, a big moon. So our center of mass isn't near my center, but instead it's a bit further away. What? You're being mean. And you called me fat. I'm sorry. To be fair, I called you big. That's a compliment in planet terms. All's forgiven. So, where are we going? Talk about a mood swing. <clears throat> uh, I'm looking for the dwarf planets. You know, since I'm no longer a planet and all that. Well, most of them are scattered around the Kuiper Belt, which is huge. But hey, I can help. <sighs> Lead the way. Whee! Pluto's log. My companion Karen and I have been searching the Kuiper Belt on a quest for other dwarf planets these past few weeks. Up until now, our journey has been fruitless and fraught with danger. But I am certain that our goal is just around the corner. We have found strange interstellar objects, asteroids with faces, crushed debris that hints at larger bodies. Despite the treacherous nature of our journey, our confidence and our success has never been greater. I'm super bored. Are you super bored? Bored? Already? We've been looking for weeks. And not Earth weeks, your weeks. 153 hours per day. Hey, 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 you're the one who decided to tag along. Didn't you want to help me? Aw, oh, you're right. And even if we don't find anything, at least we had a good time together, right? Yeah. Well, what do you say we head back? Already? The planets may be looking for me. They're not. Ouch. Better to remove that band-aid fast, Pluto. But maybe they noticed I'm gone sure. and... Wait, do you hear that? That can't be a natural phenomenon, can it? There's someone here. Someone else. Let's check it out. I look at it up close. 
Yes, there are clear hints of the influence of another planetoid. Maybe even a planet? No, why would a planet be so far out here? These kinds of patterns don't match up to any planetoid I've heard of, though. That's gotta be it, right? A dwarf planet? Maybe. It's smaller than you, but a little bigger than me? Hey there, you! Karen, Are you no. a dwarf planet? No flipping way! Another planetoid! Wait, or a planet? Do you have a moon? I have a moon too! Well, yours seems more like... Are you twin planets? Or twin dwarf planets? You seem to be tidally locked. Hey, those are some pretty personal questions. Who are you? Sorry, sorry, I just... You don't meet others out here a lot. I'm Maki Maki, designation dwarf planet. What kind of a celestial object are you? Uh, why do you want to know? Well, I've never met anything bigger than a planetoid out here. Would be exciting. What's a planetoid? Anything that isn't quite a planet, but also not an asteroid or meteorite. Something like me. Or you? You're definitely bigger than any I've ever seen. Well, if you really want to know, I'm a planet. The ninth planet of the solar system, Pluto. You are? Yeah, you are. Yes, designated by the Earthlings themselves, a real planet. And I've come out here to search for the dwarf planets because I'm also a great explorer. Wow, then do I have great news for you. I'm tracking one right now. A dwarf planet did that? Oh yeah, it must be massive and quite destructive. Come along, let's check it out. Hey, wait up. I can't believe I'm meeting an actual planet. What are the other planets like? Uh, the planets are great. We're all good friends. I'm kind of their protector, since I'm on the edge and all that. No way, that's awesome. You must have stronger gravity than I thought since you totally must have cleared your orbit then, right? To be a planet? Oh, so you know Earthling rules. <laughs> Who doesn't? So what was that all about? What do you mean? Oh, you know the whole blatantly lying about being a planet thing? Shh, not so loud. No need to tell him that. But aren't you out here to find others like you? Why lie to them? Well, I don't know. I've spent so much time with the planets. Don't I have more in common with them than with some nerdy dwarf planet flying around on his own? Well, at least he's not still trying to be something he's not. I here we are! Clear signs that something massive came through here! Are you sure this thing is friendly? Nope! But hey, it's three of us, right? More like two and a half. I heard that! I'm kidding! With our new native ally by our side, our journey through the treacherous copper belt continued. Judging by the devastation we trailed, we were no longer searching for small prey. This had turned into a big game hunt. We found clear evidence of a massive sphere of gravity, a ring akin to a full planet, and hints that maybe these dwarf planets are nothing like me at all. Huh? Why would you say that? I mean, doesn't this seem scary to you? A dwarf planet with a ring and this kind of size? What if I don't belong with them either? You can't make up your mind, eh? You either look down on them or feel inferior. I don't... I just want to fit in somewhere. They're so different and weird. Well, I'm weird too. And you're kind of weird yourself. Weird isn't bad. Maybe you need some weirdos. We're here! Oh, I see him! Come on, Mr. Planet, you lead the way! Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, hello? I'm P P Pluto, the planet. And you are? Hey, I I'm Haumea. Are you really a planet? Well, I got one better. Are you the one who caused all this devastation? Well, I thought you'd be bigger. Sorry, I'm a little wide. Well, I can see that, but why? I don't want to talk about it. Hey, come on. Pluto, you're making him uncomfortable. Okay, I'm 
sorry. Didn't mean to pry. I was actually worried you'd be, well, something very different. You're actually quite fascinating. Do you know any other planetoids that look like you? Because I have never seen one. Uh... You're totally right. We should go looking for one right now. Follow me. What's it like, Pluto? Huh? Being special. Spe- Oh, you mean being a planet? Yeah. Well, it's like being in a club, of sorts. And? And yeah, more or less that. Cool. I wish I could be like you. Between you and me, you're a bit cooler than most of the planets I've seen. Like I said, it's a club. It can get pretty mean. You think so? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Haumea, speed it up! I have so many more questions to ask you! Getting along with your new friends? They're fine. You like them? Yeah. You're wondering if they like you. Or if they like me just because they think I'm a planet. Why don't you just tell them? No! But Karen, how would they react if they knew? Knew what? Hey, Eris! Meet Pluto, Karen, and Haumea! Everyone meet Eris, the largest dwarf planet out here. We are good friends. We barely know each other. Where have you been? You missed the adventure! We found a new dwarf planet and met Pluto, who is like the coolest planet ever! A planet, huh? Well, I've met a few planets recently, Uranus and Saturn, and they had a couple things to say about this Pluto. Wow! A third dwarf planet! Uh, that's amazing! But I don't know if I have the energy to meet another one today, so I think we'll be heading out now. What, already? Yeah, come on! We can totally find more like us! Well, I wouldn't mind that. Well, I... I know, but come on, pal. What's the rush? What's going on is that Pluto here hasn't been honest with you. He's no planet. He's been demoted to Dwarf Planet decades ago. Huh. Well, they do love to change the rules all the time. I mean, I was thinking that you might struggle with clearing your orbit with gravity this low, especially this far out and close to the Kuiper Belt. I'm sorry the planets took you out of their club for being different. But we can hang out if you want. You aren't mad? I don't really get mad. Can't say I am either. Quite stoked, actually. I... Thank you. I don't think anyone has said that to me before. What's it like being a dwarf planet outside the Kuiper Belt? Do the gravity fields of the planets impact you? How stable is your orbit? Does the sun even know you're there? That's a lot of questions. Oh, take your time. I'm taking notes. I did you a favor here. I... I guess you did. Listen. I know more dwarf planets than planets at this point. We're not as big, and we're not as flashy. But you better understand that we're just as good. You don't have to play yourself up. Yeah, I see that now. Besides, who decided that planets are the cool kids? We can be cool too, you know. The cool kids, huh? I think you're all missing the bigger picture. Now that there's four of us, we finally have enough players for dungeons and dwarf planets! After a long and arduous quest, I had finally found them. The dwarf planets. And all I could think of was if I really belonged with them. I guess only time will tell. Our journey begins in the far-off magical nebula known as Kyperia, a land of myths and monsters, comets and combat, and of course, dungeons and dwarf planets. It is here, in an average everyday space tavern, that we meet our heroes. Lady Arissa the Rogue, Haumaeus the Wizard, and of course, the noble hero and paladin Sir Pluton. Together, they would face a rising evil, a sinister shimmer, spreading throughout the land and- Wait, I'm sorry. What's a tavern again? It's... I don't know. It's a fantasy thing. Every party in Dungeons and Dwarf Planets meets in a tavern. Well, 
what does it look like? I don't even know what to imagine for that. It's just a place where astral bodies meet. Just imagine any place where you meet others. Perfect. Can we continue now? Come on, just give it a shot. Didn't you want to do some team building? This is perfect. <sighs> sure. Let's go, Space Tavern. The heroes, like so many before them, met by chance and realized that they were all looking for the same thing. Adventure and coin. So they began talking about their backstories and breaking out into fun and snappy banter. Subtle. Well, I don't have any backstory prepared. How about you, Hamea? Well, I... I don't want to go first. Okay then, Noble Knight Sir Pluton. How about you? Do we have to do the Sir Pluton thing? Well, can't I just be Pluto? This whole fantasy name thing is silly, right? All of this is silly. Why stop here? All right. Well, yeah, I'm Sir Pluton then. I used to be a noble. Until the other nobles decided that I shouldn't be a noble anymore. So I was banished from my lands and now I'm a traveling adventurer looking for other adventurers like me. Boy, what could this be a metaphor for? Well, Sir Pluton, then you would be the first to notice that one of those nobles from your past just entered the tavern. Hear ye, hear ye. Any adventurers here ready to do some work for a planetary body of high birth? Wait a minute. Why does the noble have to look like Venus? Who's Venus? He doesn't look like anyone. I haven't even described him yet. Oh, uh, c carry on. Well, if it isn't Pluton, haven't seen you since your disgraceful banishment. What's it like being a low life? Uh, hi, Mr. Noble. I, uh, yes, my, my banishment. Uh, uh, okay, no, this isn't gonna work. I can't do this. Let me handle it then. Hey, Lord Venus, that's your name, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? If it helps with your aversion. You said you were looking for a quest? Well, I'll have you know, a rogue like me can get a lot of things done, but only for the right amount of coin. So, what's it gonna be? And what's it gonna be worth it to you? Whoa. Wow, Eris, you're doing great. That's Lady Arissa to you? <laughs> wow, this is actually a lot of fun. Well, Lady Arissa, if you really want to know, my orbital castle has been taken over by a malign presence. A real bad, no good, evil doer. And I need some heroes to get rid of him. You even get to keep all the riches you find there. That is good coin. You got yourself a deal. I don't get it. How could you be so chill with a planet? I... what? It's not like it was a real planet. Ahem! You mean a noble? Well, the noble was real enough in my mind. I couldn't confront him. Well, it's not like you got anything to fear from real nobles, either. What are they gonna do? Talk down to you? I... I guess. Well, you're good at handling them, at least. I'm sure that's gonna be useful. Useful? What's that supposed to mean? I, uh... Hey, Sir Pluton, roll me a perception check. A what? Just roll one of those dice. <sighs> oh, boy. Well... As Sir Pluton pondered his complex relationships with the nobles of his past, he completely forgot to look around, steering the party right into an ambush! What? How could I miss that? Unfortunately for Sir Pluton, Asteroblins are very sneaky creatures, especially if you roll a natural one. They get to strike first. Lady Orisa, does a 12 beat your armor class? Um, no. My armor class is higher than that. Then the Asteroblin fails to hit you. The others do hit you, though. Sir Pluton, you're up. W what can I do? Hit them with your sword. Oh, uh, OK. That's a crit! Your slash is enough to shatter three of the Astaroblets coming for you! R really Wow, that's... that's awesome! Well then, it's Halmaeus' turn! Oh, alright. Uh... I want to cast a spell that's really good against this many enemies. Uh, let me... No, don't bother. 
I'll handle it. Ha-ha! <laughs> Take that! Hey! Let Hamea play. Well, technically his class can interject in another player's turn at a price. See? It's all right, I can do it. Hey! I said I'll handle it. You do once. The price of your interruptibility is exhaustion. You've overexerted yourself and fall unconscious. Ha <laughs> ha yeah! Wait, what? Oh, dang. Wow, Pluto. Great job. You really saved us from actually playing the game. Well, I didn't know I'd fall unconscious if I'd do too many fight moves. That's a dumb rule anyways. Gosh, we don't need to fight. That's not the point. You had to hog all the attention, right? Former noble couldn't let us help in the fight. I was just trying to win. That might be where you went wrong. There is no winner in Dungeons and Dwarf Planets. It's a team sport. But what's the point then if there's no winner? Well, I don't know how planet games usually go, but with us, there doesn't have to be. I give you challenges and you get to overcome them together. No one needs to be better than anyone else as long as everybody gets to express themselves. I guess, well, ever since my banishment, I don't think I got to express myself. Because I didn't want to be what I actually was. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah, I know what you mean. But you know that you don't have to be like that with us, right? We're like you. You don't have to be anything else. Follow us, wretched adventurers. You wanted to take our king's castle and riches, right? Well, he wants to meet ya! Aw, oh, man. Bow down before Lord Solarball! Yes! Tremble in fear before my scary bright lights and solar flares and all the other stuff that happens outside the Kyber Belt! You were fools to think you could beat me! <laughs> Wait, they didn't take our weapons off us, right? They did not! Well, that's good news. You're thinking what I'm thinking, right? Surprise attack while he's monologuing? Gladly, my lady. You can't be serious, right? Come on, there's no way we can beat the sun. Relax. If we dwarf planets stick together, we can do anything, right? Well, yeah, but not defeat the sun. That's madness. Oh, come on. It's just a game. Well, yeah, but what if it isn't anymore? What? Well, what do you mean? What are we gonna do when we have to face the actual sun? The other planets, when we stand up to them? There's just four of us. I don't care about planets. I only ever met two when they were just kind of annoying. You? You don't want to change things? Our place in the system? I... I'm kind of happy with where I am. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm having a great time with my friends right now. I... I can't believe you. Well, I can't believe this. Well, what did you expect when you went looking for us? That we'd be your little dwarf planet army to take back your planet status? Is that what you meant by useful? I... I was expecting more than this. That you'd understand that planets... We've never had trouble with planets until you showed up and decided to make them our problem. Fine then. If you want to stay here, do it without me. Well, I can't live like this. Like what? A dwarf planet? Because tough luck, that's what you are. That's what we all are. And everyone except for you is totally fine with that. You? I... This was a waste of time. Pluto, don't! Wait up! Well, not to be a bummer, but your chances in this fight look pretty bad now. If you want to stay here, do it without me. Well, I can't live like this. Like what? A dwarf planet? Because tough luck, that's what you are. That's what we all are. And everyone except for you is totally fine with that. Dang it! How do I get out of this dumb belt? I just gotta follow the sun. What? Oh, 
was that? Have I been here before? Pluto! Pluto, where are you? I know you're here, Pluto. I can feel your gravity. Oh, hi, Sharon. Listen. Why did you run off like that? You didn't even take me with you. I just needed to get away, okay? I wouldn't have left you behind or anything. I just... Really felt like it, though. Wouldn't be the first time. You forgot about me for a long time before you went on your dwarf planet quest. I didn't forget you. I just... I had a lot going on with the whole planet status thing. Yeah, that seems like all you care about. Everyone abandoned me because of it. You don't know what that feels like. Yes, I do. talk to you right now. But we... We what? Have we been here before? Well, we probably came from here, just like the other dwarf planets. Maybe we're made of Kuiper asteroids. Well, I don't think that's how planets or moons are made. I keep telling you that we're not really like a planet and moon. We're special. Special? Huh. I used to feel special. I used to be part of a special group. When the Earthlings demoted me from the Planet Club, everyone just didn't know how to treat me. I was this... this weird thing to them. Is their approval that important to you? We were friends for billions of years. What do you think? I'm sorry, Pluto. Yeah, me too. Me three! Ah! Neptune? Neptune? Oh, yeah, you're right! I am Neptune! What are you doing here? Well, I was looking for my moons, but then I found them, so I guess I'm just existing now. Great for you. Listen, Neptune, I, I kind of have my own thing going on right now, so would you mind if Loud I... and clear! Bye-bye! What is happening? Ugh. Woo! This is some intense gravity. I guess that's a real planet for you. That is so typical! Dwarf planet wasn't enough. I have to be a moon now? Hey! Sorry, that was uncalled for. But listen, we, we kind of both pull at each other, right? Maybe we can slingshot our way out. Ooh, let's try it. See, we do spin around each other. Yeah, I guess. No! <laughs> oh, didn't realize I did that this time. Sorry. You pulled us out past your orbit. Your gravity must be so strong that it impacts Kuiper Belt objects. Oh, yeah. Now I tend to do that. <laughs> you remind me of my moon, Triton. Only he became my moon and you did your own thing. So all this time I came out of the Kuiper Belt just like the other dwarf planets. Pluto. They were all right all along. I'm really just like them. I, I wasn't special. I wasn't a planet. I never really belonged. You two are so cool. What do you mean? We're just... I've never seen a double planet before. The way you did that orbit slingshot thingy and escaped my orbit. <laughs> so cool. But, but listen, there are a hundred things about me that make me special. And the least of them is that I am a planet. That's just some overrated earthling term. But the others... The others will get used to it the moment they see you happy. Or not. Who cares, right? Sharon... Do you think less of me because I'm not a planet? I don't care. You don't? Well then, what am I to you? We've been orbiting around each other for billions of years. I don't care if you're my planet or if I'm your moon. For me, you'll always be my dance partner. <laughs> Do you think this will be good enough for the other dwarf planets? Pluto, for the last time, nobody cares. Only you. Just let it go. So, what do you think, Mr. Pluto? I think I got a game to finish. See you, Neptune. Thank you, Neptune. I think you helped. I sure hope so. You're a pretty cool moon, you know that? You really think so? Yeah. 
I mean, all the other moons join that war on the planets, but you help your buddy when he needs you. It warms my core. Aw, oh, shucks. I'm glad you... Wait, what? 18. That beats your armor class, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, no need to roll damage. I was at one life. I'm down. What? Already? I... I'm a wizard. I go down to a stiff breeze, and this is the final boss. So, Lady Orissa, what's it gonna be? You're up. Lord Solarball looks down at you, the last member of your party, and laughs a sinister laugh. <laughs> you really thought you could beat me? I'm the sun. You're not even a planet. Well, who cares if she's a planet? Well, if it isn't the planet lover. Guys, I know I suck and that I create barriers because I'm so insecure, but I want to try to be happy just being me. Well, I don't know if it'll be good enough, but... Okay, that's way too many words for a free action. If you keep talking, that's all you'll get to do in your turn. I... what? Well, aren't you gonna save your party, Sir Pluton? Well, as a paladin, I have healing magic, right? Oh, you absolutely do. Okay, then. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It was your turn, right? It was, but... I'll delay it. Thanks for asking, though. All right. Uh, healing magic activate! No! How is this possible? I thought you were gone for good! Oh, no. Just had a little crisis of faith. But I remembered something important. If we dwarf planets stick together, we can do anything! Love the speech, Sir Pluton, but I think we need a new plan. I... I think I got one. Keep him off me and I can deal with this. You sure? You went down really fast last time. Don't worry. Do whatever you got. I trust you. <laughs> yes! Is Halmea on? I can't hold him off much longer. Your turn, Halmea. All right. Here goes nothing. Palace. Uh, Transformers! Wait. What did you just do? I have an elemental transformation spell. I transformed all the hydrogen inside Lord Solarball into iron. Massive amounts of iron can poison a star, especially if there isn't enough hydrogen and helium to counteract it. And what happens to a poisoned star? It goes supernova. Yeah! Oh. Oh, no. Everybody run! Guess we're not getting paid for this one. Is it weird that I don't care? No, it's not. That's not weird at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome! You got more? I want to keep this campaign going. Oh, I have enough for years. I've been waiting for someone to play this game with for so long! All right, what's next then? Pluto, I think we have something more important to do. Sharon? What do you mean? It's the moons of the solar system. Something bad is about to happen. <laughs>